So yeah, I'm actually really excited to check this out. I'm at, uh, mm. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's put a pause on the world of MG Verka crossbow. Let's put a pause. And let's get into this Zazabi. Do you guys think I can finish it r in one session? Probably, but I'm also a slow poke, so we'll see. But I'm, I'm just too excited. I'm just too excited to, to see what this is all about. There's, it looks cute. That is, you guys are right. It is a cutie. It's a cutie patootie. <laughs> um, so we'll see. We'll see how we're gonna, how we get on with this. Uh, Lord Bob. Uh, kind of pissing me off that they are taking more MG X Freedom pre-orders and still not shipped out the original pre-orders from March. Oh, really? That were supposed to be released on 11 22, 22. Still have not sent a single kit out. That that does suck. What the hell? Bacon SD Sazabi. Yeah, this is my first SD kit in, in a long ass time. Because I feel like I did buy one as a young and as a youth, but I can't actually find it. Should I should I label my runners, guys? <laughs> but yeah, maybe we'll uh, we'll look into more of these. One from MG to <laughs> you know what? Because I just like how easy it is. <laughs> you guys know I like the EGs. Like, let's go back to the world of of easy ass models. Yeah, I think it'll be fun just to see B one B one five. Here we go. Let's go, guys. Let's get easy into this operation. easy operation. That's exactly what I need. Yeah, MG, you need to do it at a pace. You're right, Carmi. At least, I mean, that's that's just that's just the way it is for me. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of folks out there that are very, very used to uh, the build experience of of Master Grade kits and Verka kits, and you know, it's not a big deal for them. But for me, I was like, the that first time I was building it, right, the last stream, <laughs> I was making mistakes. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with me? I I just need to really, really think about what I'm doing here. I need to slow down. Like you said, work it at a pace. It's all good. These parts can be poked out with your hands like a savage. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> feels so wrong, but it feels so right. B17. <laughs> there we are. Seven and eight. Yeah, it is kind of like those uh, those entry grade kits where they make it so that you can just kind of poke out the parts. Like the gate is really, really small, which I find. I think that's really impressive in terms of of how they've gone about doing that. I think that's really neat. Um, but I don't suspect that they'll be doing that for like all kits moving forward, you know what I mean? Like into the HGs and MGs. I don't think that they'll be doing it that way. It's just neat though. You're right. It is neat. All right. Okay, let's clean up these parts. Here, let's put this off to the side here. Oh, I should probably change my uh my stream information here. And yeah, Bacon, uh, I mentioned earlier that I I got my pre-order. You know that already. Let's see here. There we go. Yes, got my angel waifu. So, so Bacon, you've got that. You're working on it now. Carmi has it as well in her backlog. 
and I'm sure some other folks have have that model too. So yeah, that's cool. It'll be it'll be kind of interesting to see what what everyone uh, how everyone gets along with it. Uh, I take it that you're enjoying the build baking. I probably won't get uh, the newest Arcanadia kit. What about you guys? How do you feel about that one? I know we were talking about the horse. I know you guys' feelings on the horse girl. <laughs> <gasps> broke my heart broke my heart that we're not on the same page here as, as horse girl but what about the um i i don't even know what her name is but uh, it's like a water spirit kind of character are you guys going to get that one hashtag angel waifu yeah see the thing is it would just be between like us. It's unlike the ball drop where it's like a inexpensive model that everyone can can get and uh, and build. <laughs> Centaur ain't it? No, but I'm talking about. But uh, but what about that other one? The one that's coming out soon. Anyone gonna get that one? She's, uh, she's like a succubus kind of thing. Which is such an awkward thing to say. I don't really enjoy saying the word succubus. It's kind of weird. <laughs> this rolls off the tongue in an awkward kind of way. Ah, uh, that one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Same, 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 same. Not sure. I mean, I've seen some people build it and customize it, and she looks, she looks nice. Velretta, yeah, that's the one, Lord Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably gonna pass on that one. I think it, I think it looks good, but yeah, I would probably have to do a lot more customization to that one. But I did see some nice, some nice builds that people did to that. But um, presently, I'm not really thinking about it. The raccoon one, yes. That one looks really nice. I have I have some some ideas on how I'd like to, to work on that a bit more. That might be kind of fun. Sign's nice, but this FBI territory <laughs> There you go. You said it, you said it. It's a little bit too uh, FBI open up. The same with the thirty minute sisters, dude. Like, you know they've got those new thirty minute sisters and they they're like smaller <laughs> they're much smaller I'm like nee, I don't know I don't know about those it's, again FBI a little bit too FBI interestingly enough Bandai sell like you know limbs to make her taller and stuff <laughs> make them taller and that's what I've seen people do with Velreda as well is like I've seen people make her like taller Bustier, but yeah, the the raccoon character, maiden shrine maiden kind of thing, very cool, very fun. <clears throat> Three minute uh, Plamo DLC, yeah, yeah, I remember uh, you mentioning that before. I actually like super super agree with you because I've I bought a number of them, and I'm like, yep. Uh, I'm like buying all sorts of extra packs and all this stuff and it's like yeah they could have just included it in a in a single kit I mean uh, I will probably get more 30 minute missions and sisters at some point but but I mean it just has to I have to feel inspired I guess I don't know I'm glad I tried it out. I'm glad I tried out both lines, and I enjoy them. But I do agree that there's a lot of like add-ons and DLC and shit that you need to, that you could get or sh or maybe even need to get, to get to a point where you're like, yeah, this is how I want it. Uh, okay, so they want a sticker here, but I'm not going to do that. No way, Jose. We're not into stickers over here. And here, 
guys, what's the over and under that I'm going to mess up the, this build here, that I'm going <laughs> to somehow screw something up and, uh, and put something the wrong way? What's the over and under? Okay, I think I understand. And this goes like this, like it is. Yeah, I've definitely spent like even more than like 40 bucks on my 30 minute missions build and my 30 minute sister model. As you're holding the part upside down, damn. There it is, guys. There it is. It's already happening. It's already happening, guys. Even the entry grade kits cannot escape my my errors. Wow, this looks cool though. Hmm. I do want to have the option open to take off these parts. Derp. Let's see here. Let's just do a little snip snip. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Evo building a kit. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. If I'm already making mistakes, can you imagine building a, a master grade? And I have been building a master grade. And I'm already derping it up. There it is. Whoa, three kits today, Lord Bob. What uh, what do you got coming in? Okay, so let's see. Again, they're telling me to do some stickers, which we're gonna ignore. Boom, 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 ba -dum, boom. I think we need to sharpen up these uh, this stuff. It's too stubby looking, you know. We'll kind of go in and kind of make them more pointy. But yeah, maybe uh, maybe what we'll do is uh, pick up another SD kit and combine it with a old G Gundam kit for Joe's competition. We'll see. I wanna. I, I kind of need to browse and see what kind of options are available to me. But yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. We already did the head. That's progress, guys. Did the head. <laughs> Let's get a beverage. Ah. Okay, we need B1, B12, and we need polycaps. Good old polycaps. Everyone loves polycaps, he said sarcastically. C. This kit doesn't have too many stickers because I've seen I've seen uh, the Gunpla sisters build the uh, hmm, I think it was the new and there was a lot of stickers it was like ugh, stickers <laughs> this one doesn't have too much because it's just a big red big red machine it's the big red machine it's the cane of <laughs> it's the cane of uh, of Gunpla. Uh, Bacon, are you going to paint this one? Yep, I think so. I think so. I don't know what color scheme I should do. Wait. Uh, Bacon, you took a picture uh, over at Panda of of someone that painted the Sazabi white. That, was that a white Sazabi? That could be a thing. I think that was what I had, what you took a picture of. Yeah, maybe we'll paint it a different color. I, I've, I'm kind of uh, interested in these smaller kits because you can kind of uh, experiment with them. 
doing kind of unusual color schemes or something different that you might not want to do for a bigger project. <clears throat> ah, yes, it was a white sasabi. That was very cool. And yeah, that was over on um, over on my Discord, which uh, I'm sure Nightbot has mentioned. And a, a special shout out to to Mando that helped me out because actually the link didn't work <laughs> this whole time. I think I added that in like last stream. This whole time that that link wasn't working. I don't think so at least, but it should now. Ah, Lord Bob. Um, first Gundam, 1 in 100 scale. MS Zaku 1. RX-78 Gundam real type. Both from 83. Oh, really? They're from they're from 1983? HG uh, Gyan from 1999 arrived today. Cool. Oh, man. I would love to build an old, old kit. That sounds fun. Like, you know, because I, I was watching uh, Night Trap, my brother, build um, the reprints of the G Gundam kits. Those are from 94, I think. <clears throat> I mean, they're reprinted now. I've got the new packaging or the new logo and everything, but they're still old kits, old designs. And it kind of just makes you appreciate how far we've come in terms of uh, the designs, the engineering of, of Gunpla. And yeah, I've seen a number of um, builders online on Twitter build older kits and they kind of like go in and paint them and customize them and stuff um, just it just seems like a fun experience to at least just try one time once or twice speaking of Kane and wrestling did you see and hear about Kenny Omega dressed up as Sephiroth and came out to the one winged angel theme at Wrestle Kingdom I did not see that that was a recent thing because I know he's come out to other to other kind of like video game music music and stuff and of course his his move is called the one winged angel right like his wrestling move but no i did not see that that is super super cool still in sock old one one hundreds copies one ten dollars each got them from usa gundam store hell yeah dang that's sweet still in stock Ooh, that was very recent oh okay cool yeah I have to say I'm kind of behind on my wrestling news as far as uh, as far as actual events go although I have been kind of paying attention just a little bit about the potential sale of the WWE which uh, I don't know uh, it's not like I've been watching WWE lately anyways so I'm not really, I guess it doesn't really matter to me, but huh, I don't know. I feel like that is kind of like an end of an era. Lord Bob, you do not think it will be sold. Oh, yeah? interesting yeah there was all these that this talk that it was going to happen and then and then even more commentary about how actually no it's not happening and some people are saying like maybe not yet blah 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 okay let us do a little snip here And then Vince came back. He's like the CEO again or something. I was like, okay, well. I think everyone kind of knew that the that it, it wasn't going to last. Like, you know, Steph being in charge is, and Triple H and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> didn't take too long for Vince to get back in the seat.
It said the Saudis bought it, but I don't know. Seems sus. 60% of the roster would quit. Yeah, I, I, my sense is that a number of people in the in the roster would not be too pleased about that. Um, yeah, very. It's just really interesting how all that's gonna how all this is has gone down and and how that's gonna happen. I, I have no idea. He stepped down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it seemed like Bacon. He just kind of left for a bit until until people would stop talking about it, and then he's like, I'm back. But I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen. Maybe they'll sell to the Saudis. Maybe they'll sell at a later date. I don't know. Maybe Disney will buy WWE. <laughs> maybe that's what they want. Maybe... Maybe something like that will happen. That would be pretty wild. Um, okay. Uh, more stickers, which again, we're just going to avoid. Avoid, avoid, avoid. A lot of sticker talk here. But we're not going to de deal with any of that. Uh, we need the polycap D. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, we do got to do some seam line removal. There's like big ass seam lines right down the middle. We'll have to take care of that for sure. But I need to kind of assess uh, what parts I'm going to disassemble and reassemble as necessary. Uh, is this the right orientation? Yep. All right. All right, let's see. So here's the hand. Here's the arm and his stubby little arm and his, his little hand here. There it is, guys. Now, let's see. Well, let's do a let's do a custom kit bash. I'm making a custom kit bash. Here, let okay. First of all, let's see. Let's see how it'll look if I put this. It won't actually fit inside the socket because it's like a different kind of joint system. But this actually kind of, this actually doesn't look too bad. This one right here. If I were to actually kind of find a way to fit it in, that doesn't seem too far off from, from this, as a matter of fact. It is larger, but it doesn't seem too far off. But how about we do this? How about we do this? <laughs> it, and again, it doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit because of the, the joints, but look at that. That's a big honking fist. <laughs> oh my god. That looks hilarious. I mean, when you're dealing with SD proportions, super deformed proportions, um, proportions, it doesn't look that crazy because, like, everything is exaggerated. But that does look kind of humorous to me. <laughs> hmm. I like how detailed those um, those extra deep, extra parts are. They do have a lot more to them. All right. I think this goes in the socket here very easily. There's like um, hollow points here that I might have to fill in. Are SD Gundam, in my opinion, they are not. Uh, are you saying that they're not Gundam? SDs are not Gundams? Oh boy. Uh, B213. B12. To 
me, SDs are closer to Transformers than Gundams as they are living sentient robots. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, like there's no human inside of them. Uh, in that sense, yeah, I guess you're right. Just doing the other arm now, pretty much the same procedure. Making good progress on this. <laughs> of course, right? I like uh, I like the sense of satisfaction of putting together something fairly quickly. I enjoy that. Derp, derp. We're derping. They would still be Gundam, no, just not mechs. I mean, also valid, I have to say. I don't actually care. <laughs> I kind of don't care about that, uh, that distinction. But that's also because I don't really care too much about the story of SD Gundams, I guess. <laughs> Whatever, man. Fuck. Fucking cares. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just has to be said. Who fucking cares? <gasps> A6. Just has to be said. I just had to get that off my chest. Whew. What the fuck are we talking about here, guys? <laughs> Carmi. <laughs> Carmi gets it. Carmi gets it. What do we what do we often talk about here, guys? Just talk about dumb bullshit. It's a highly specific specific kind of, of stupid bullshit. <laughs> Carmi, we were talking about Victor's cake. Yeah, see, see, that's the kind of subject matter that uh, that that engages me. You understand? We talk about uh, the ass on a video game character from 20 years ago. This is this is this is the subject matter that gets me excited on a pixelated Frankenstein from a fighting game. Nut. What was it 20, 30 years ago? There we go. Nut. There we go, guys. The nuts, the balls. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just had to be said, guys. Just had to get that off my chest. Talking about balls. Yes. Yeah, see, so you guys get it. I'm fucking building this little this little toy here of a of a sazabi and uh and I'm struggling guys I am I am struggling oh it takes all my concentration here to build this dumb little thing because because that's how I'm built I know that it's easy But I'm struggling out here. I can't be bothered with dumb bullshit. I can be bothered with some kinds of dumb bullshit. It just depends. Toy. Yep, sorry guys, it's a toy. That's the other thing. It's a toy, guys. At the end of the day, it's still a toy. 
Oh my god! <laughs> I still remember that line. <laughs> Carmi, I was about to say I'm full of bullshit. We're all full of bullshit here. We're all just we're all just bullshitting here, guys. We're all just bullshitting. Just a couple of bullshitters here. These Gundams walking around, stomping around the, the Lego city. It's really cool. There we go. There we go. Bonsai? Bonsai. Bonsai. Yeah, I really like Lego space. And I actually like the retro Lego stuff too, because I used to, <laughs> everyone's like, Bantai! <laughs> I used to go to uh, thrift stores a lot, like multiple times a week. And originally it was to collect old video games. I was trying to find, uh, me and Night Trap, we were trying to find like retro games for our collection as well as like reselling them. And You know, sometimes it would be hard to find anything good, anything, an interesting Gundam. But, we would still find, uh, sorry, I said Gundam, any interesting games. But I would occasionally find Lego, so I would get into, I would get, in, get into buying Lego from the thrift store. And, uh, yeah, I, I would build, uh, retro sets from a long time ago that I'd find there. It's good, it was fun. But nowadays, um, it's a little hard for me to find Lego, or rather, uh, to get out to the secondhand stores. <laughs> One up and then paint my ceiling black and stage a uh, gun plus ba space battles. Yeah. I wonder if anyone's done that. put the stars up and everything. little waste it's all it's all assembled like all of this stuff is you know if even if this was an hg kit it would have been you know multiple parts right but it's all just one thing <laughs> it's kind of funny and i'm not even looking at the instructions at this point i'm just assuming that that's where that goes that's probably a good guess there aren't many pieces left so i'm just gonna take a wild stab so yeah, Carmi, um, about Joe R. Inferno's G Gundam build, you said that you ordered something. What did you order? Can you, is that something that uh, you can, you can publicly state here? Or is that uh, top secret? Again, uh, much like you, I, I really don't know what I want to do. I do have a, I do have one of these old kits from when I was a kid. Look at this thing. This is a piece of junk. I built this when I was a kid, okay, guys? <laughs> and it's broken partially. You got the Spiegel. Look, shit is falling off as we speak. But maybe we'll use this as a, as a starting point. Oh, wow. Yeah, I swear to God, this is like, I don't know. I was a youngin, and I unearthed all my old crap. But yeah, look, he's, he's broken up in parts. There's still nubs. This is, this is Kid Epo, Kid Ray's builds, build. But I think it might be kind of fun to take this and repurpose it. 
and uh, turn it into something else, something new, something better, maybe? I mean, at least I've got the base of a kit done of the of the challenge of the of the contest you know i've got something squared away just in terms of that if i wanted to participate wasn't sure if i wanted to participate but the more i thought about it i was like you know what i think that there's sufficient time for me to to kind of get something done um with two months give or take and and i'm not really not really thinking about doing anything big mind you um but we'll see because often i'll take on a project and i'll say yeah it's not going to be a big deal it's not going to be a big project blah 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 and then it ends up being kind of a bigger time sink than than i may have expected do you know what i mean but i feel like if i can think about what i want to do like now now ish I'll, I'll have that squared away and we can get to working and we can get to finishing it and we'll have some time to spare. I said the same thing about the, the Gunpla ball drop, mind you. Oh, wow, look at this gun. Look at this gun. Holy shit. It's like a sliver of plastic. It's literally, it's practically the same thickness as this like runner. Anyways. So yeah, I, I mean, I figured let's let's do it you know let's do it let's get in on it let's do something let's think about it and let's I, I, I want to do something within the range <sighs> what do I want to say I want to do something that I can realistically manage with the time that we have and comfortably have some wiggle room do you know what I mean flat bullets <laughs> it says flat bullets the flat bullets or lasers i don't know uh carmy had another idea but i felt like it would be more than i can choose so i'm starting off basic yeah yeah that's i've learned that about myself is kind of like i've got these ambitious ideas i've got a lot of a lot of ideas that i'd like to do but realistically speaking i i try and i'm trying to scale back the ambition you know, just a shade. I don't, I'm not saying I'm trying to not be ambitious here, but like, and just scale it back a little bit. Uh, realizing that, you know, you never know what's going to come up in terms of timing, in terms of, uh, uh, yeah, in terms of timing, in terms of things that just pop up, sudden emergencies, blah, blah, blah. And just even like the challenges of making a build, a customized build itself, like, like, uh, there's always like unforeseen challenges with that as well so uh, all those combined I, I i'm trying to between now and next week or so I'll, I'll think about something that i can do that's realistically manageable and then we'll uh we'll set about doing it uh man is there only three kits available in the states that i can find oh really which ones bling 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 what's up ori ori demos now following. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you today? What's up? What up? Yeah, we're building this Sazabi right now. Will this be the only Sazabi model kit that I ever get? This this little guy here. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. You're great. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, it's I'm feeling a little off today, to be honest. But we're we're gonna manage. <laughs> I was earlier today. I was building a uh, master grade, a master grade model, and I was kind of like, mm, let's build something else. Actually, <laughs> yeah. What are you up to? Are you building anything? Uh, Bob, so the contents take a G gun kit and make it a build fires kit? I mean, if that's how you want to interpret it, sure, why not? Um, man, no, there's a real, uh, Mass Effect Universe uses metal discs for bullets. Oh, you're, you're right. I di so I've never played the Mass Effect games, but I do remember hearing about that. I do remember there was some sort of comment about how, like, uh, 
that's how it shoots out. That's the ammo. It's kind of interesting. Ori, I uh, started doing Gundams as a kid and now very into keyboards and coming back to Gundams full circle side stream and figure I'd stop in and try and make some new friends. Hell yeah, hell yes. Oh, so do you stream as well, uh, Ori? You know what? So that's the interesting thing about... And yeah, uh, welcome in. Welcome on in, I, if I didn't say that already. Welcome, welcome. Nice to have you here. Making friends, that's always cool. The, the makers category is very interesting just because it has such a wide variety of people that that do things right like like there's people that do art there's people that paint right uh b build gundams paint miniatures like warhammer stuff then there's keyboards right and you have people that do pottery and all sorts of stuff it's actually really really uh interesting how that i would say i've streamed before but no you do not stream okay 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 that's cool i like to ask occasionally just because uh you know we can, uh, I can, we can follow. I can give you a follow. I can check out your work. But yeah, that's cool. You know, oh yeah, and I, and I mentioned the whole thing about keyboards just because I was like, yo, maybe I want to build a keyboard just because I I see a lot of people building keyboards on this uh, on this on this uh, uh, channel. Not channel. You guys know what I'm talking category. But like actually kind of pricey i mean i say that as someone that builds gundams right builds gundams and paints warhammer but keyboards i thought i could like build a fairly inexpensive keyboard or something but yeah it can kind of it can kind of get pricey I, I was thinking i wanted to do something where i could make a, a lego keyboard but yeah it's, it's actually not that it's not as cheap as i thought if you're into building keyboards, then try it out. Oh yeah? Shining and Bolt. Is that a brand? Uh, Ori, uh, it's very pricey and honestly, very little in return. Oh no, what do you mean? How is it very little in return? <laughs> you get a keyboard. You get a keyboard, that's what you get. It can be super expensive hobby. Yours is two hundo. Two hundo? Yeah, damn. God damn. All right, guys. Look, we did it, guys. <laughs> it was uh, it was a nice, easy build. And that's what we're here for. That is what we're here for. There's a bunch of sticker stuff, which we're not going to do. But look at that. It's Sazabi. It's a cute little Sazabi. This is fun. I liked it. Look at that. It's kawaii, and it's a sentient being, guys. It may or may not be an actual Gundam, because it's a sentient being. Okay, so make sure you keep that in mind. But yeah, I enjoy this. This is neat. And I think that there's something else I can do here. Let's take a quick look. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you can make it like a mobile attack vehicle thing here. Let's see. Uh, Ori, the keep I'm typing on cost around 600 retail. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty spicy. Uh, Carby, I saw this very interesting YouTube video last night about someone creating their very own Iron Mouse doll using a 3D printer, and she sewed the clothes on and everything. Very cool. Ooh, you're gonna have to link me up, Carmi. You're gonna have to link me up to that. Uh, me and Carmi, we're gonna very soon. We're going to depart the world of Gunpla. We're gonna leave the hobby of gunplug guys and we're gonna get into dolls we're gonna just start getting into dolls all right so just just so you know just want you guys to all be fully aware that we're gonna get into dolls <laughs> uh or i have a fully built keyboard that costs 600 and have an unbuilt keyboard um cost 600 this hobby sucks <laughs> oh wait 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 hold on hold on so are you saying that you're getting into you're getting into Gunpla now as a means of uh, making better use of your money, making smarter smarter uh, uh, purchasing decisions. Is, is that the, the situation here? Because I'm here to tell you that, uh, that Gunpla 
will definitely run up the bill as well. But I mean, that's just how hobbies are, right? That's just how hobbies are. By the way, I can show off. This is the our little desk buddy for today. It's my rusty Haro. And I got to do something about the base. I just, this is an example of like, you know, uh, a painted model. Because I like to paint my models. I, you know, we won't, we won't just leave this Sazabi as this, in this state. We'll, we'll paint them in some fashion. Uh, Ori, I know myself, I'm just going to end up buying both. Oh boy. Yeah, see, uh, we've got a couple people in the chat or friends of the channel that are like into multiple hobbies. Whether it be Gunpla and Lego, or video games and video games and and Gunpla, so on and so forth. I don't like the cats up red Sazabi. I mean, now, man, that, that's a you guys might not know this because I, I talked about this kind of like earlier last year, but I don't like ketchup, guys. That's a deep dark Epo secret. I'm not a ketchup man. I don't like ketchup. I'll eat it if it's on my burger already, if it's on my food already. Someone prepared it for me. I'm not going to be like, excuse me, take off the ketchup. I don't like ketchup. But yeah, I'm not a ketchup person. So so this color has got to go based on that alone. <laughs> Carmi, yes. Oh, and you linked me the Discord? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Or lubing my switches reminded me of painting old Gundams. Now I'll build one. Yeah, so so you've built old Gundams before, Ori. I'm so uh, just to explain myself a little bit. I built Gundams as a kid, and all the way up to like my high school years. But then I stopped, right, because of other things, adulting, girls, whatever, <laughs> other interests. But it's like I came back to it last year. Um, pretty much at the start of last year and and this is kind of what I've been doing as far as like my my I'm still not a kid mentally mentally fiasco I have the mental capacity of a child I'll, I'll tell you that much but it, um, theoretically legally I'm an adult <laughs> um, this past year, I got into, or rather 2022, I got back into building Gunpla, and so that's what we've been doing. And I've been going through the various grades. I built um, I built entry grade kits, which I really liked, high grades. Um, this here is my first SD in a very long time. And oh, remember guys, this is, a, uh, this is a sentient being, not a Gundam. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else? And fairly recently, I built my first master grade, and I'm actually working on a master grade right now. So, what's your experience with um, with with gunpla? If you're looking to kind of get back into it, and what kind of challenge level are you look kind of looking to to attempt? Carmi, oh, are you pro ketchup? Are you team pro ketchup? Mustard, mustard, sazabi. Uh oh, mayo. How about mayo? How about mayonnaise? Uh, or what's a good site to buy uh, US based customers not that I'm going to look or anything yeah yeah not that I'm gonna look or anything but well you know just out of curiosity what's a good website um yeah unfortunately I'm, I'm Canadian so I can't really help you with a US based store <laughs> mentality of a child responsive via adult yeah pretty much Carmi has a discount code for Kraken Ichiban oh yeah yeah hook him up hook him up hook him up Carmi I've been converted to Japanese mayo <laughs> mayonnaise mayo sazabi with catsup and mustard highlights hot dogabi <laughs> Hold on. Was last year the year of balls, and now we're getting into hot dogs? Is that we're getting? We're doing hot dogs now. Balls and hot dogs. Or my cousin only builds master grades and does one kit a year. And my God, they are beautiful. Whoa! Do you got a link? Do you got a link here? I want to see. One kit a year. 
I do not know if I'm ready for that, but at the same time, I'm looking for a challenge, and I'm often disappointed if I finish a project and feel that it was too easy. So you want something a little challenge, and you've built them in the past. I think, I think you gotta go master grade. Then, I think you're, uh, I think you're, you're looking for the master grade. Even within master grade models, I feel like there's kind of like a, a, a spread in terms of the the challenge level that's involved. A real grade? Oh, balls and glizzies. Hold on, what's a glizzy? I'm not I'm not really up on the on the terminology of the youth of today. What the heck is a glizzy? Help me out here, Carmi. What's the youth talking about here? <laughs> By the way, guys, this is the alternate kind of build for the for some of the accessories. It's kind of like a mobile it's kind of like a what do they call it? Like a tachikoma from from Ghost in the Shell in the sense that it's like this mobile tank thing. That's kind of neat. The Ute? Yeah, the Ute. What is the Ute? What is a Glizzy? See, when the Ute starts saying... It's another word for hot dog? Shut the hell up. That is not real. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Redbeard. How's it going, Redbeard? What up? How you doing? Glizzy is not are you trying to are you trying to set me up, Carmi? I refuse to believe that Glizzy Glizzy is a term that the Ute are using for hot dog. Come on now. Yes? Okay, Carmi. Okay. I'm gonna go where can I get a hot dog? Uh A and W? I'm gonna go to A and W. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'll have a I'll have a Glizzy. And then we're gonna see what happens, okay? Sometime this week, I'm gonna go and get a Glizzy. It's a Michigan thing. I don't know if Glizzy has made it out to uh, the boonies in Ontario. Here's the other way you can arrange the hand, by the way, guys, as we talk about Glizzies. I, I refuse. I'm gonna feel so embarrassed asking for a Glizzy. The fuck? What's the connective tissue there, though? I'm sorry, guys. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is, These are the deep, serious issues that I like to get into, okay? Just so that we can make it clear that we can make a distinction between things I like to talk about and things I don't like to talk about. Let's talk about what the youth are talking about. Let's talk about glizzies. What the fuck is a glizzy? <laughs> glizzy is the cold sausage of a hot dog, huh? Connective tissue. The connective tissue. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But you know what I mean? Like, how do how do you go from glizzy to hot dog? Where's the where's the where's the where's the through line? Where is the how does that how does hot dog turn into glizzy? Help me out here. It's a thing in Michigan too, glizzy. This is the first time I've heard of the term glizzy. I feel I've never felt older. I've I've basically melted. I've I've aged. 10 more years now that you guys have, have dropped that on me glizzy why is hot dog called glizzy a glizzy is a hot dog it was originally a slang term for gun in washington dc metropolitan area but according to hip-hop dx <laughs> oh my god we're uh, okay so the the authority on on the entomology of words here is from hip-hop dx it became a nickname for hot dogs because the length of the barbecue staple is similar to the extended clip of the gun. There you go. Oh, there you go, guys. I'm I'm exhausted. That that that's the case. That, that I just I mean, there you go. Hip hop DX. The authority on what the youth are saying. Redbeard, I'm actually the oldest here, I would guess. I mean, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put any numbers up here. But I'm a. Uh, depending on who you talk to, I'm either young or I'm either a fogey. Somewhere, yeah. We don't talk. We don't. We don't. You know. We don't like to 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 out anyone's numbers. <laughs> oh, 40 Redbeard. Right on. Right on. Right on. I'm. Uh, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. So you you might win actually, but uh, I'm close. I'm close. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. 
yeah, so, <laughs> uh, this has been Hot Dog. This has been Glizzy and Sazabee Talk, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is, uh, th I, I, I do like this model. And we're going to do stuff. We're going to paint it. We're going to customize it in some fashion. But this is a fun little build. And we'll probably uh, we'll probably get back to it at some point. I'll out Carmi's age anytime. Oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> here, let's put our little buddy here. And we'll get back to... Uh, we'll get back to the big boy. We'll get back to... We'll get back to this. The crossbone. I'm sorry, guys, if I missed some stuff in the chat. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Redbeard, is this a SD Sazabi? It is indeed. Pretty nice, I have to say. Yeah, it does look pretty neat. Yeah, it's a very simple build. Wow, I just dropped it. Very simple build. And there's if you're if you're interested in uh, wanting to to clean up the seam lines and all that stuff, you do have some work cut out for you because there are some some kind of glaring ones but overall not too bad and I think once we paint this guy up it'll look it'll look even nicer oh forgot the backpack there's also issues with this here see this oh you're being called a moderate uh, have fun yeah 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 I will catch you later Mando thanks for hanging out see these hollow parts we gotta fill that in we don't like that it's like a big hollow gap we're gonna have to do something